Well, we're about to get out of the office and take a spin in the 2021 Toyota Avalon. The press vehicle that we have today is a limited trim, so at the top of the lineup. And we have a car with all-wheel drive, which is interesting because the Avalon has never been available with all-wheel drive prior to 2021. It's a standalone option for this year. In the past, the Camry has had all-wheel drive. You can still get all-wheel drive in the Camry, but as far as the Avalon goes, it's first time. Now, Toyota says that if you currently own a front-wheel drive Avalon, that there should be no difference in the driving dynamics between the front wheel drive and the all wheel drive version. Unless of course you take a corner quickly or you run into ice or snow. But what Toyota is saying is that on the open road, on a flat surface, there shouldn't be much difference in feel between the front wheel drive and the all wheel drive. Toyota went to great lengths to engineer the Avalon that way in terms of the architecture, the chassis, the suspension, and the all-wheel drive components and all that stuff. The all-wheel drive components of the Avalon add about 165 pounds between front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. So that extra weight is going to detract from the fuel economy slightly, but the benefit of the all-wheel drive is, of course, having that additional traction for snow and ice and rain and, 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 and things like that. So we're excited to get out on the road. One final thought here before we take off is that if you're looking for a big sedan like the Avalon, you don't really have a lot of choices. There's not really a lot on the market, but the choices that you do have are actually pretty solid. So the Avalon is up against cars like the Kia Cadenza, the Nissan Maxima, and the Volkswagen Arteon. These are all large sedans that offer a lot for the money. So again, not a lot of options in what we would call this segment of the market, but some strong offerings nonetheless. So we're going to get out on the road. Let's see how the Toyota Avalon drives with all-wheel drive. As you approach the 2021 Toyota Avalon, it's clear that Toyota is going for that big luxury car look, especially in this limited trim. The color of our press vehicle is called Blueprint, and that is new for 2021. If you want a more athletic or sporty looking Avalon, you can opt for the TRD version or the Touring version or check out the XSE Nightshade Edition. Here we are inside the cabin of our 2021 Toyota Avalon Limited press vehicle. Now the Limited's at the top of the lineup, but across the entire Avalon range there are 10 different variations and 3 different powertrain options. The first powertrain is for front-wheel drive Avalons. That's a 3.5 liter V6 with 301 horsepower. That's the high power option. Then there's a high efficiency option with the Avalon Hybrid, and that will get you over 40 miles per gallon combined. The Avalon Limited that we're sitting in here, this version is all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is new for 2021, and it's a standalone option. If you opt for all-wheel drive, you're going to get a 2.5-liter four-cylinder under the hood with 205 horsepower. Well, one of the things we really like about the interior of the 2021 Toyota Avalon Limited is how comfortable it is. The steering wheel is heated, which is a feature we would like to have in any vehicle that we're driving. And the premium leather in here is both heated and cooled. And if you can believe this, I actually have my air-conditioned seat on today because it is an unseasonably warm day here in the Detroit Metro. It's actually almost 50 degrees out, and I can tell because I have my outside temperature I can see that here in this center display of, of our 2021 Toyota Avalon. This driver display here is so helpful, it's chocked full of information that is important to me as a driver. So I have my digital speedometer. If I scroll through here on the steering wheel, and I've got everything I need on the steering wheel, my radio controls, volume controls, uh, my adaptive cruise control here. And as I scroll through, I see important things like my fuel economy, my distance to empty. I can go through here, I can see my compass, my Sirius XM satellite radio, and then I can see a system status on all the safety features that I have on this 2021 Toyota Avalon Limited. This is all part of the Toyota Safety Sense package, which is standard on the 2021 Toyota Avalon. We'll shift our focus now from the center display here to this 9-inch touchscreen display with Toyota's dynamic navigation. 
and this is a real easy touch screen to use so I can just touch the screen and I can go into a larger view of my map of the Detroit Metro here if I want to get back to this split here I can just simply hit the home button I've got my satellite radio there I can connect my phone if I want to and then I have my map up here uh, JBL premium audio system which is something we just love in this Avalon Sirius XM I had mentioned that a moment ago which you can access through this center display here HD radio and then the grace note technology is, is really cool uh, that actually grace note technology is what gives you the artist and the song title here so when you have your radio station on when you have your radio on you're always able to see what's playing so we're playing musical chairs now here in the 2021 Toyota Avalon and I have been regaled to the back seat <laughs> but as far as the rear seating area is concerned these premium leather seats are plenty comfortable back here just like they are up in front the only concern that we could see and by the way these seats are also heated as well so that's a that's a nice treat for passengers but the only concern that we could see is one headroom so you can see that my hair is actually touching the headliner here I'm five feet ten inches tall and I'm just barely fitting back here so if you had a passenger that was over six feet they might they might feel like they're a little cramped here in the back of the Avalon also as far as leg room I'm fine now I have my boots on maybe it'd be better if I had tennis shoes or sandals on but as far as this is concerned I'm okay right now for leg room I have the driver's seat set to my height again about five feet ten inches so if you had a taller driver over six feet that seat might have to come back and again passengers back here could feel like they're kind of cramped so as far as up front goes more than enough room plenty of room uh, in the back seat headroom legroom could feel a little cramped depending on how tall the passengers are but hey this is a nice thing my coffee I have some place to put it look at that so it gives us a set of cup holders back here so if you get regaled to the back seat like I did then at least you've got a place to put your coffee before we get on the road a quick recap as far as exterior styling Toyota's going for the sleek luxury car look with the Avalon on the inside with the limited it's easy to get spoiled the heated steering wheel the premium heated and cooled leather seats this wonderful colorful nine inch touchscreen display with dynamic navigation the JBL premium audio system which sounds awesome and then and I cannot believe I forgot to mention it but the sunroof again so easy to get spoiled inside this limited so we're gonna open the sunroof we're gonna go for a drive we're gonna see how the all-wheel drive handles on the open road on the open road with our 2021 Toyota Avalon limited press vehicle and under the hood, one more time to recap, 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with 205 horsepower connected to an eight speed automatic transmission. Now this is the engine if you opt for all wheel drive, you're gonna have this 2.5 liter four cylinder. Let me give it just a little gas since we're gonna go up a hill here. So good solid linear acceleration, but a little bit of engine noise which we'll get to in a second but the all-wheel drive system that Toyota uses is called dynamic torque control and what that means is that 50% of the available power can be sent to the rear wheels if there's slippage at the front so as far as the platform goes what this Avalon is sitting on it's called TNGAK TNGAK so that stands for Toyota's new global architecture, and the K is a designation for larger vehicles, of which the Avalon is a larger vehicle. This particular platform also underpins the Toyota RAV4 and the Highlander, so more rugged SUVs. In the case of the Avalon, though, it's not about being rugged, it's about comfort. And again, on this flat stretch here, yeah, the Avalon is very comfortable. The only thing we notice, and again, I, I mentioned this before, but I'll accelerate here. So you have good acceleration, it's smooth, but a little more wind noise and engine noise than we would like. Uh, but to be fair, 
I will give Toyota some credit here because this platform that Toyota engineered the Avalon on, they did try to mitigate road and engine noise. They actually included extra sound insulation in the engine bay. They did other sound insulation measures and sound reduction measures throughout the body. Even the exterior mirrors are designed to reduce aerodynamic drag and wind noise. So they most certainly tried. We're actually coming into Pontiac, Michigan here where the Detroit Lions used to play. But again, we'll give Toyota credit because they did try to reduce the wind noise, but unfortunately, there's just still a little bit more road and wind noise than, 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 than we would feel comfortable with. However, we do feel safe and secure here inside the Avalon with the Toyota Safety Sense P package. That's Toyota's uh, suite of active safety features and it includes things like a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection and lane departure alert among other things and there's 10 standard airbags inside the Avalon including ones right up here on the A pillar. So we do feel like we are safe and sound here inside the Avalon and of course we're definitely enjoying this JBL premium audio system as well. So we're going to cruise on through Pontiac here. We're going to get back, uh, get back to our drive and we'll catch up with you in a little while. Back at the office and we got to say we enjoyed our time on the road with the 2021 Toyota Avalon. In that dash cam footage you saw, I talked about things like the road noise and the wind noise and the engine noise. And in the interest of giving a fair critique, that stuff is there, that stuff is present. As we were packing up and getting ready to come back up here, I kind of wonder if I didn't spend a little bit too much time on that. So, so let me just clarify here in the last couple minutes we have left that if you are looking for a larger sedan like the Avalon, or if you currently own an Avalon now, and you are genuinely considering a 2021 model with all wheel drive, don't let what I said about the road noise and the engine noise discourage you. Because honestly, that little nuance is not enough to detract from all of the benefits of the car. If you had a pros and cons list for the 2021 Toyota Avalon, the pros would far outweigh the cons. One of the things I really enjoyed was just how comfortable and smooth it is to drive. So I live here in Detroit and I have family in South Dakota. And so when I go to see them, that's about a 13 hour drive, 900 miles, drop down through Chicago, go up through Wisconsin and through Minnesota then on Interstate 90. That's a long time to be behind the wheel. And the 2021 Toyota Avalon is a car I could see making that trip. It would as comfortable as the Avalon is, would be a great car for a trip like that. The last thing that I would say is that to just always do your research. So obviously if you're watching this review, you're, you're already doing a, a good job of that. So you already know that. I would recommend test driving like the Nissan Maxima, which is another large sedan. I'd recommend test driving the Volkswagen Arteon. I would also recommend test driving the Kia Cadenza. And I think you'd find that the Kia Cadenza and the Toyota Avalon are very closely aligned. Uh, you know, there is the Ardeon and the Maxima, but I almost think the, the Cadenza is a closer competitor to the Avalon. So do your due diligence, take test drives, do your research. But if you end up purchasing the 2021 Toyota Avalon, especially one with all wheel drive, I think it'll be a good car for you. I want to thank Toyota for giving us an opportunity to drive the Avalon today and I want to thank you for watching and reading Automoblog.